It was in a what looked like a hopeless situation, okay? And David chose in his situation that looked hopeless to praise God. He chose to sing his way through, and God saw his heart and blessed him and took him out of a situation that looked hopeless to a hopeful situation. And it reads like this. It says, what do you do when you find yourself in a seemingly impossible situation with no help, no hope, and no way out? Might I suggest that you do as David did? Sing. We find the background for Psalms 3 when David states that he wrote this when he fled from Absalom, his son. Picture this for a moment. David, the king, hiding in a cave from those who have turned against him. His third son, Absalom, his closest advisors, and the nation of Israel. He is alone in the wilderness, on the run, and fearing that Absalom will kill him. <laughs> what does he do? What does David do? He writes an incredible song. First, he assesses his situation, and he talks about it directly to God. Praise God. He sees that his troubles are on the rise and that his friends have become his foes. And their advice to him is that there is no hope coming, even from God. This is a gut-wrenching, brutally honest look at the situation with David. But what does David do? <laughs> he then acknowledges God is the way. But he says, this is what he says, but you, O oh God, are. But you, O oh God, are. He says, but God, but God. David says this, that even though my situation seems hopeless, you, God, are my shield, my glory, and the one who lifts me up. Praise the name of the Lord. And then David addresses the congregation who, is, who, who, you know, who will ultimately see him <laughs> And see, God raise him up through his song. And then David cries to God, and God heard him and brought him out just, he brought David just what he needed. He gave him what he needed. David praised his way through a hopeless situation. And I encourage you, I don't know what you're going through, but I know that this year, and the year before, it's, it's been some really, really trying, hard, difficult years. Okay, we've had a lot of up times and a lot of down times, but there's been a really, really difficult time, and our world is facing some difficult times right now. But I encourage you to do as David did. He decided to sing unto the Lord. He said, though my situation looks hopeless, but God, let's worship. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. This next song I'm going to sing is called Changed. When we are born again, when we decide to change our direction, the Bible says that we are a new creation in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You are a new creation. If you confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, the Bible says you are a new creation. You are now changed. You are now joint heirs with Christ Jesus. Oh, yes, I have. 
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. This next song is called, I Worship You. I worship you in the beauty of holiness. I worship you from a sincere place in my heart. I worship you even though things don't look the way I want it to look. I worship you, Lord, because you are God. so excited that you guys decided to join us as they're getting the next song ready. We're just so excited that you, you know, decided to join us in this night's worship experience. We're going to do more of these on the coming weeks. So just Lord, I, I 
worship you. Say, say, oh, we've been 
plans to give you an expected end. We have an expected end in Christ. We have a hope. We have a future in Christ Jesus. Father God, we thank you so much, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that we are your workmanship created for good works, Lord God. And we will continue to praise our way through it, Lord God. When our eyes don't see it, we'll continue to praise our way through it because we know that it's already done. It's already been written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and it's already done. We thank you, Lord God, for all these blessings. We pray, Lord God, for anyone who may be going through grief right now, who may be going through some pain in their body right now, who may be going through an uncertainty right now. We pray, Lord God, that you will show yourself strong, that you will show them, Lord God, that you are Jehovah Jireh, that you are Jehovah Rapha, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that they will be encouraged, Father God, by the word that is spoken tonight. That they will be encouraged by the songs that will sing tonight, Lord God. That it will change their minds. It will change their direction. It will change their hearts forever, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that our hearts are fixed, trusting in your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. And all that agree, say Amen, amen, amen. Thank you guys so much for joining us, and we'll see you right here on our next worship night. Be blessed.